across America. They're on their webcams and they want to play. So let's see who we have today. First up, she's from Santa Monica, California. It's Vanita. He's from Dunedin, Florida. It's Ed. He's from East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. It's Rod. She's from Reading, Pennsylvania. It's Andrea. Welcome to the program, everybody. So glad to have you here. You guys know how this works. All you have to do is figure out America's opinions on all kinds of topics, and then you win 50 grand. So are you guys ready to win some money? Look at this brain face. All right, then let's hop into it. Here we go. This first question is worth $100. Here are the two possible answers. We've got golfing with the buddies or loving with the wife. The question is, what did married men over 60 say they would rather do on their birthday? <laughs> golfing with the buddies or loving with the wife? All right, everybody's got their answers down. Ed, we'll start with you. Ed, tell us about yourself. Okay, I am a big Bucks fan, as you can obviously see in the background. Been there since forever, and I am ready for some football. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here, Ed. Go ahead and flip that card. Everybody, reveal your answers. Let's see what you picked for $100. You see some loving. Two for loving. The guys say golfing with the buddies. The correct answer with 79% of the vote. It's loving with the wife. Yeah. The ladies got it. Right. And I believe the men should have had it. I think people are lying to our pollsters. But we're going to move on to our next question. We're 200 bucks. Absolutely anybody's game. Here we go. The two possible answers here are Grammy winning band or publicly traded company. And the question is, Democratic parents said they would be most proud of a child who started their own what? A Grammy-winning band or a publicly traded company? All right, the answers are in. And now let's go deep underground to the bunker, the fallout shelter. <laughs> Andrea, you look like you're ready to win money and you're ready to survive. An I office. am. I totally am. I'm a military spouse in a military man cave. My husband's in the Air Force, 10 years. So fly, fight, win. That's what I'm ready to do today. I love it. And in case you get hungry, there's an MRE over your shoulder, right? So you could grab right for That's that. That's right. Let's find out what you put down for $200. Everybody flip those cards. Is it Grammy winning band or publicly traded company? Three for traded company. Ed says it's got to be the Grammy winning band for $200. The correct answer is the Grammy winning band. Ed, you got it. Our Bucks fan is in first place with $200. Vanita and Andrea tied with $100 apiece. Ron, we got to get you some cash, my friend. Come on. Our next question <laughs> is worth $300. And the two possible answers are stay up past their bedtime or eat whatever they want. The question is kids say the best babysitter lets them do what? Is it stay up past their bedtime or eat whatever they want? All right, the answers are in. Ron, I'm concerned that you should be wearing a hazmat suit right now. What? Yeah. No one should be allowed to do anything in a room with that many radioactive symbols, let alone play a game show. Where, where are you at right now, Ron? Listen, I'm a nuclear med tech, um, so basically everything I deal with is radioactive, so we got to put symbols on everything. You know, I, radioactive material, we inject into patients, you know, we look inside their body and see what's going on. Well, Ron, we wish you the best. Right now, you've got zero dollars, but I know you're going to get this one. This is for 300. Go ahead and flip your card. Everybody, reveal your answers. What do we got? Stay up past the bedtime, says everyone. The correct answer for $300. You all got it. It's stay up past the bedtime. Ed's still in first place with 500. Vanita and Andrea just fine with 400. Ron's finally on the board with three. And it's time for the final question of this round, and it is worth $400. But more importantly, because this is the final question, this will decide who stays and plays and who gets eliminated. So good luck, everybody. Here we go. Two possible answers are their bras or their heels? The question is, what did working women say they look forward to taking off more at the end of a long working day? Uh -oh. Is it their bras or their heels? All right, Vanita, we'll say hello to you now. How are you, Vanita? Hi. <laughs> 
Vanita, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm an interior designer, and I used my home as my office. So as you can see, I have this great background, and I'm going to take my 50000 and open an office. <laughs> well, I wish you the best, Vanita. Thank Doing you. pretty well right now, tied with Andrea with $400. Let's see if we can add an extra 400 to your bank. Go ahead and flip those cards. Everybody, is it their bras or their heels? Ed and Andrea say their bras. Ron and Vinita say it's got to be the Come heels. Come on, I need this. For $400, the correct answer is... Wow, it was very close. 51% of the vote, mathematically as close as it could be. Ron, you need this. And you got it. It's their heels. Just like that, Vanita rockets into first place. Ron now in second. Ed holding strong in third. And Miss Andrea, I'm so sorry. It was a pleasure to say hello. But unfortunately, we must say now goodbye because you've been eliminated. Goodbye to Andrea. Congrats to these three there. Moving on. And in a minute, one will have a shot to play for huge cash when we come back. Three contestants. They're all on their webcams playing from home, and they're all trying to win big money by predicting what America is thinking. But now it's about to get even harder because these next questions, they've got three possible answers. Our first one is worth 500 bucks, and the three possible answers are this is cold, what's taking so long, and this is not what I ordered. The question is what is the most common complaint that waiters say they get from customers? Is it this is cold, what's taking so long, or this is not what I ordered? What's the most common complaint waiters say they get from customers? All right, everybody's got their answers down. Ed, we'll start with you. Well, Kevin, you know, I was thinking, because this actually just happened to us just recently, uh, and it's always a good excuse. What's taking so long? Oh, no, they're coming right up. I checked, I swear, it's, it's coming right up. Vanita, your thoughts? I'm usually in such a social environment, so time doesn't matter so much, but if it's cold, it could ruin the whole experience. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, what are you thinking? The only thing that bothers me when I go out to a restaurant, I'm ready to eat, so I'm gonna go with what's taking so long. All right, the gentlemen say what's taking so long. Vanita says this is cold. The correct answer with 66% of the vote for $500. What's taking so long? Ed and Ron! You guys get the cash, and now Ron out of nowhere is in first place with $1,200. Ed holding strong with 1000 Vanita's got $800. we are going to raise the stakes yet again. This next question is worth $1,000. The three possible answers are meeting a girlfriend's parents, taking a final exam, or getting naked in a gym locker room. The question is, what did college men say was most likely to make them break into a cold sweat? Meeting a girlfriend's parents, taking a final exam, or getting naked in a gym locker room? <laughs> All right, the answers are in. Again, this is for $1,000. Vanita, what are your thoughts? Okay, well, you did say college men, so that's the whole point in them being there. So I got to go with... Naked in a... Oh, no, exams, okay. <laughs> Sorry? I... Vanita says... Taking the final exam, Ron. Taking the final exam has definitely got to be the right answer. All right, Ron agrees. Ed, you're shaking your head. Do you disagree? Yeah, I disagree on that one because, you know, taking an exam, well, we've taken a lot of exams, but uh, I don't know. Meeting the parents, ooh, they didn't make a show about it. Move it. You never know if Pappy's going to answer the door with a shotgun in his hand. Could be rough. Top two answers here were taking a final exam and meeting a girlfriend's parents. For $1,000, the correct answer with 40% of the vote is meeting the girlfriend's parents. Oh, man. Ed gets the $1,000. He's now in first place with two grand. And that brings us to the final question of this round, and it is worth $1,500. More importantly, this will decide who gets eliminated, so good luck to everybody. Come on. Here we go. The three possible answers are their cash, their credit cards, or their watch. The question is, if they were mugged, what did men say they'd be most bummed to lose? 
Is it their cash, their credit cards, or their watch? All right, Ed, suddenly in first place with $2,000. We'll start with you. Well, I got to say, Kevin, you know, I thought about the credit cards for a minute, but that night, well, you could do some other things and the watch. I guess you could ask a buddy what time it is or look at your phone. <laughs> but I'd have to go with the cash Ola. Ooh. Ron, do you agree? Will you lose your cash? Oh, you're just bombing the rest of the night. All right, so the Jen say cash, Miss Vanita. Let's just say you have much cash on you. The headache is getting those credit cards replaced. I gotta go credit cards. So you can make the call. You gotta wait a few days for them to arrive. Could be quite the ordeal. The top two answers are credit cards and cash for $1,500 to decide who stays and plays the correct answer with 55% of the vote. Their cash! The gentleman got it! Say goodbye to you and that beautiful place you're playing from, but Vanita, 800 is not enough. You've been eliminated. Goodbye to Miss Vanita. Congrats to Ed and Ron. They are moving on. Two remain, but only one will have the shot at the big money. You've got to stay right there to find out who it will be when we come back. So let's ask America. Shades. He's from Dunedin, Florida. He's got 3,500 bucks, and he is battling it out against Ron from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Ron's got 2,700. They're both looking to take home big, big money, and we are just two questions away from finding out who will play in the final round. But yet again, things are about to get a little harder. Now our contestants will have four possible answers to choose from, and this first question is worth a whopping $2,000. Getting heated. Four possible answers here are electronics, liquor, auto parts, or clothing. The question is, married women said their husbands spend way too much money at which store? An electronics store, a liquor store, the auto parts store, or a clothing store? All right, the sports memorabilia store is not an option, but Ed, I'm curious. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, an answer number two, I, I would, you know, <sighs> Auto parts, ah, you got to do that when you break down. Liquor, well, we could do that anytime. Uh, clothing, wife buys that. But my wife always calls me Mr. Gadget, so I will go with the electronics. That's it. The adult's toys. Ron. This is a new gadget world. I'm definitely going to have to go with electronics. That's two for the electronics. For $2,000 with 53% of the vote. You both got it. Electronics. Yeah. Still in first place with 5,500. Ron just behind with 4,700. And that means it all comes down to this. The final question of this round is worth a whopping $4,000, everyone. But again, this is the final question. This will decide who goes on to play for big, big money in the final round. So good luck to both of you guys. Here we go. Four possible answers here are not vote, not pay your taxes, Criticize the president or forget the national anthem lyrics. <laughs> the question is, which of these did Americans say was the most unpatriotic thing you can do? Is it not vote, not pay your taxes, criticize the president, or forget the national anthem lyrics? All right, the answers are in. Ron, we'll start with you. You've got 4,700. This would give you 8,700 if you get it correct. Walk me through it. All right, what I was thinking, I mean, I've seen enough YouTube videos, but I've never seen any YouTube videos of people not paying taxes or voting or criticizing, <laughs> maybe criticizing the president, but you will always see these nasty videos when people forget their lyrics. Oh, it's the worst. It's comical and giggle-worthy, and I'll share it with everybody, but it's painful. Ed, your thoughts? Ron got it right on this one. I would have to say the national anthem, learn it backwards and forwards. So Ed and Ron, they've arrived at the same conclusion. It's a foregone one, but with 35% of the vote, Ron, there was no better way you could have played it, unfortunately. You both got it. It's Forget the National Anthem. $4,000 to each of you. And Ron, it was a great game of that earlier round. It just caught up with you. I'm so sorry, but Ron, you've been eliminated.
Oh, Thank so you, gracious Ryan. in defeat. Congrats to Ed. He is moving on. $9,500. He's seeing the dollars, but in a moment, he'll have a chance to risk those singles on one final question for a shot at up to $47,500. Find out if Ed risked it big when we come back. So let's ask America. It's decision time. You can risk any portion of your 9,500 on this final question, but Ed, if you risk it all, if you put it all on the line and you get it correct, I will give you five times that amount for $47,500. However, Ed, you risk it all and you get it wrong, then you walk away with nothing. Not an option, not an option. Yeah, I don't want to consider it either, but it is a reality, Ed. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking, I need a new man cave that's bigger than ever. And you can't be a little bit pregnant on this show, so I'm going all in. I want Kevin Dorff. <laughs> Ed is putting everything on the line for a shot at $47,500. Wow. Ed, that is a gutsy play, man, but I love it. It's exciting. I gotta ask, Ed, what would you do with the 47.5? You know, Kevin, it's, it's ironic because my wife and I are buying a new house. We've, we've, we need a down payment. We've already turned in all the returnable bottles and, and aluminum cans that we can <laughs> catch in, and we need the rest of it. And then I would love to take my family to New York City and see the 911 memorial. That, to me, would be the ultimate. Oh, fantastic. I wish you the absolute best. Again, you have played a phenomenal game. I believe in you, Ed. Your magic is real. But now it's all on you. Good luck for 47,500. It all comes down to this. Ed, the four possible oh. answers are the job security, the traveling, the health care, or the education. The final question is, what did people in the military say they liked most about joining the service? Mm. What did people in the military say they liked most about joining the service? Is it the job security, the traveling, the health care, or the education? Obviously, there is a ton writing on this question, Ed. How do you feel about it? Is this strike you as particularly difficult? Um, you know, first I thought about job security. Well, maybe not so, because once you're in, you're in. And then uh, the education, yeah, you can get an education out of it, but, you know, that only goes so far. Healthcare, well, I don't want to say too much about that. You can get healthcare usually from a job if you're full time. So, Kevin, I had to go with what my friends say that are in the military that you cannot eliminate and you cannot say enough about is the traveling that you do. And I see you wrote a number there, Ed. You wrote 47, it looks like 47,500. Is that correct? Is that what you wrote there? $47,500. All right, Ed, you know what's on the line. The revamped man cave, the down payment, the trip to New York. So I'm not going to waste your time here. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Now, this was a very close question. I can see the percentages, and they're all incredibly close. The health care, with 21% of the vote, that's out. And the education, well, that only had 20% of the vote. That's gone. That leaves the job security and the traveling. Those were the top two answers. Separated by only 9% of the vote. For $47,500, the correct answer. With 34% of the vote, Ed, you got it. It's the traveling. Ed just won $47,500. Playing a game from his house. Congrats to Ed, $47,500. And hey, join us next time on the show where even you can win